second graders, it's Mrs. Compton again. Are you ready for your next lesson? I am. So maybe we played this game in first grade. You'll have to tell me if you are familiar with it or not. So the game is called Start With, Get To. So we're gonna start with a number that's in the bag that I'm gonna draw out, and then we're gonna figure out how far away it is from the next number that I draw out. Okay, so start with, let's find out what our number is gonna be. Shake my bag real good. Okay, no peekies. Our starting number, wait, yeah, okay, I was like, did I pick the wrong bag? Okay, our starting number is 18. So we're gonna start with 18. Let me write that down. And let's figure out what we're going to get to. Okay, I'm in my get to bag. I got my bag right. Okay, here we go. No peekies. I always tell the kids that, no peekies. Okay, we're gonna get to 29. Okay, so we've gotta strap on our thinking caps. We've got to use our strategy. So we're gonna start with the number 18 and get to the number 29. All right, so we could use number lines. We could use 120 chart. We could use any tool we want. So let's think about it now. Everybody hit pause. We start with 18 and get to 29. How far away is it? All right, pause. All right, I think we're ready. I want to hear some strategies. Okay, so maybe you used a number line. I know a lot of you guys love to use number lines in your head, so let's check this out. So if you started with 18, where would, if you used a number line, where would 18 go? Would it go here on the left, or would it go here on the right? Tell me. You're right. It would go on the left. I'm gonna put 18 here. And then on the other side of our number line, we've got an arrow. So the number line keeps going, but we're just gonna stop right here at 29. And we have to figure out how far it is from there to there. All right, so what was your strategy? How many of you counted by ones? How many of you hopped by 10 first? How many of you hopped by a one first and then a 10? Let's see. So maybe you decided to take a big hop of 10. So if we add 10 to 18, you guys are pretty good at that, right? So if we even use our 120 chart, if we're at 18 and we add 10, we know we'd go down one, two, three, blah, 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 all the way down and we'd land on 28. Which in fact is right next door to 29. So all we have to do is add one more. So then the distance from 18 to 29 would be these added together and 10 plus one makes 11. Okay, did you do it with a number line? Did you do it the hops this way? Maybe you decided, oh, I'm gonna hop two first. Let me change out my color. Maybe you decided, oh, I'm gonna hop two first and get to 20. And then you're like, oh, I just have to get to 29 and that's just ooh, nine more. And two plus nine makes 11. Maybe you did that one. I don't know what you did, but I'm sure you had a good strategy. And if you decided to use this 100 start, you would have started at 18 and maybe you would have hopped to one, two, like here, and then nine more. Oops, 29. Almost made a mistake. That's okay. Or maybe you said, ooh, I can start at 18 and hop down one row, and that would land on 28. Plus one more would give 29. Ooh, I love to start with get to because I love thinking about strategies. So I would love if you would tell me in your comment section, in the comment section, which strategy you used. I would love to hear it. Okay, 
Are you ready for our next story? Now, last story we had was about jelly beans, and I asked, did people eat these jelly beans? Because a lot of times now, kids are telling me they don't like jelly beans. But this story is about friends. You can't eat them. You cannot consume our friends, Frog and Toad, from our favorite book, and usually a play. Woo, I have a pin over there. You guys, it's hard. Okay, so Frog and Toad. So Frog has some cookies. All right, can you imagine Frog with some cookies? We know he likes to eat, right? Frog has mm, cookies. Toad. Toad's a good friend. You know, he says, I'm going to give you some more. So Toad gave him mm, more. Now, how many cookies does Frog have now? Okay, so let's stop to imagine it. Ready? Frog has some cookies. Toad gives him some more because Toad's a good friend. And we have to figure out how many cookies Frog has now. Do you have the picture in your mind? If you don't, you need to hit pause and get that picture in your mind. It's so important to imagine the story. That's the number one thing we have to do with story problems. We must stop to imagine so we understand what we're solving for. Okay, are you ready for your numbers? Let's see them. This time I don't have a clip, I just have a piece of paper. Okay, we've got some number sets for you. We have 14 and 6, 24 and 46, 28 and 102, 148 and 65. Okay, you're only in here if you feel like you have super strong, awesome, fantastic strategies for these sets over here, right? Maybe you even try one of these sets first and then you move into the larger sets of numbers, right? Okay, so let's pull out, let's do, I'm gonna do 24, because that feels good to me. 24 on the first line and 46 on the second line. And then I have to read the story again. Frog has 24 cookies, got it. Toad gave him 46 more cookies. Ooh, that's a lot more. How many cookies does Frog have now? All right. Did you pick your number set? Are you ready? All right. Your turn. Go solve. See you next time.